uh, basically uh, this game. Yeah, shout out to Razer for the synapse, allowing us to do wonderful macros like uh, are being showed off here. So really, this is just epic product placement, but uh, also pretty great. Uh, I'm actually interested to see uh, what is Nasus running. Not quite an AP Nasus, going for gold for five. And there's a really hard initiate coming in there from Cassidy and shoving, uh, well, basically everything he has right in the middle of the enemy team. Hotshot forced to uh, blow that heal. He's going to be able to get out of there, but uh, a lot of damage taken on basically everybody except for Boy Boy, who's uh, pretty much just uh, stayed at full health basically this entire time. Nintendo X is jumping around like a little monkey at this point. He's been shielding a lot of people taking the poke and then able to get off those sonic waves. It did get him that first blood. The res resonating strike into Sonic Wave, so uh, that was definitely in their favor. But we're seeing a little bit of a shift here. We see the counter poke coming out from CLG, forcing TD right back to their tower. Now, you know, we're not going to get a lot of creep pressure, but at the same time, it's very surprising CLG was able to muster that kind of force, just push this team on back. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, you know, people want to look at Nidalee and be like, oh my goodness, Nidalee's so good, guys. But uh, really, there's a lot of poke coming out from CLG. You got Cassidy's Q, Boy Boy, and uh, a little bit of extra action. Wow, Nintendo jibbing Boy Boy. He just, like, he, he just blew up. He just exploded. I, I don't know what was happening. I was talking about him being in full health basically the entire game. But, uh, yeah, he wasn't in full health very long there. Yeah, not hard to get bursted down in this kind of combination. As soon as you get one person out, it's just like a beeline right to the double lift trying to do the tanking here. But again, Nintendo Dex coming in with that shield. Hotshot going in a little <laughs> bit of damage, but the barriers come out. The shield, he cannot move, and he does go down 3-0 TD. Can you only imagine what we're going to see in the finals if TD moves on? TSM spam, TD spam, it's going to be a good time, sir. Well, they will certainly be uh What is Nintendo doing? He's just like... I don't even know. He's just killing literally every single member of the enemy team single-handedly. Paradoxical there to help out as well. And uh, yeah, Sinatra is being put to maximum effectiveness here in this area. Now, Hotshot's uh, body slammed in there and then just completely got destroyed. Hit by a Nidalee Spear, taken out to half health. And uh, he was actually out of turret range. So when you are within turret range and you auto-attack somebody uh, outside, you don't draw turret aggro. So that's uh, why you're seeing uh, Paradoxical just continue to DPS uh, Hotshot away he's at half health just coming back freshly from base he actually has a chalice chalice of harmony ridiculously good at on this uh map just lets you have basically infinite mana and a free blue buff big fat lp once again getting hit by those nidley spears yeah stop it uh, apparently uh steve needs to do that uh so says uh, don't mash me as more spears flying out from team dynamic they are seven and one and you're really starting to see that nothing but damage items coming out from lee sin he's three and one and nintendo definitely uh warranting a spot back on the team dynamic roster jumping in once again jibbing chouster look at that damage mm -hmm. yeah you could say tons of damage but eight one you'd expect a little bit more of a gold differential but neither team are really rocking those gold pretends like we saw for a team solo mid so oh here comes the ezreal true shot barrage unfortunately not able to grab anyone i'm not too sure if i can actually follow that with the camera but i tried either way cog is still trying to do a little bit of poke here even at the tower big fat going to be able to eat one there but it does not look like syndra is uh, really just long range enough to, to get this poke going between hotshot and boy boy we do have some poke but it's not being able to translate into kills yet Okay, now Chouster back freshly from base has a lot of magic penetration sitting at a 29 magic pen with a 10% from mastery. Double lift in the middle of absolutely everything. Pops the barrier. He's going to be able to make it out alive. Void Boy pops the barrier. Takes a couple of turret shots and wow, CLG going way deep behind enemy lines. Not quite saving private dires, but they were able to pick up the kills on to Pixel and Paradoxical. Double lift. Oh my goodness. Taken down to just about 25 health. Oh, that is uh, not going to be very much health on him. But keep in mind, it is Warwick. There are heals. He has his uh, passive heal from uh, Hungering Strike as well as Eternal Thirst. So he's going to be able to heal up relatively well. There's the jump in. The Q not taking down. Don't match me. Boy, boy, this time living with just a few hit points. Paradoxical is basically in god mode as he runs in there with the most... Uh, hit points, uh, I mean, in the land of the low HP. <laughs> wow, Nintendo's flying across the map, flashes in there, picks up one, picks up another one. Will double lift go down? There's the oh. flash and the auto from Zion Spartan, unable to pick up the kill. Wow, just like no hit points and finally double lift will drop. More spam coming down, but 12 to 4, that was a crazy distance closer from the Nintendo X. That was just uh, pretty insane, and it does look like he is going to be going for a Bilgewater Cutlass first item. So after that, uh, 
Brutalizer, maybe going for a little bit of the slow as well as the... What do you think, an Executioner's? Uh, no, don't think it's... Yeah, that, you know, that I Executioner's? I would have really loved to see him build that into a Last Whisper for just like ridiculous amounts of damage, uh, tons of damage even. However, going for that uh, Bilgewater Cutlass, it gives him another spell, so that's 300 extra damage you just have to do. Actually, is that uh, 300? No, it's 150. Gunblade's 300. Oh, yeah. but, it uh, got nerfed. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, oh my goodness, here comes in the Ezreal ult. It's gonna hit Paradoxical, but does not kill off, don't match me. So, Team Dynamic, actually, uh, one of the things that's a little bit underlooked is that Hibernator gives you 25 magic resist per, or 25 health regen per 5. Don't match me, what are you doing? Get the heal and barrier. Double lift pops in there, he's gonna get, uh, wow, that ultimate from Greg is perfectly placed by Hotshot GG. And, uh, yeah, that's one dead Snowberdinger. I don't know if you, like, made three wishes, if it's frosty, or if you just, like, melted all over everything. Wow, boy, boy, just punching Graves in the face. It's like, bam, <laughs> look at that whiplash. It was, oh, my goodness. Boy, boy, uh, coming out pretty big here, but uh, uh, also coming out really huge for CLG is, uh, surprisingly, two kills there on Big Fat LP. He's already got double Dorans and a haunting. Guys, that's a lot of magic penetration. Really, you can see, out of both of these teams, a lot of penetration, whether it's boy, boy, and his armor pen or the haunting guys on GG but uh, oh my goodness that double lift will he go down just to stay barely enough he's gonna be able to make it out alive wow brilliant play but it does look like mash me able to grab the counter not too sure how double lift is living at this point but oh. somehow spear connecting to the back of boy boy's head he does go down and another double comes out Heimerdinger don't mash me throwing down that spam <laughs> we're gonna be pursuing a hot shot but it does not look like uh, we're gonna be able to get that so not entirely too sure why I said Executioners earlier. That was uh, a fun moment, but Bilgewater, you can see it's been used, and that's slow. It's going to be something really big, I think, uh, a little bit later on. Uh, something also really huge. Paradox is actually getting the heal, so he's going to be able to tank up the turret, and this will be the first turret of the game, taken by Team Dynamic. There's the Ezreal taking down Zion Spartan. Hotshot with an excellent bait, slowing movement speed there for Nidalee and allowing that Ezreal to hit home. Chaucer gets hit by Lee Sin Q, but he's not going to die just yet. So I think uh, even... Uh even Nintendo knows jumping in there on Chaucer would be a little bit of a bad idea. And Nintendo is actually doing a really good job at dodging a lot of the cues coming out from Boy Boy. He is doing a really good job at poking things down. He actually has a Tiamat. All right, guys, you heard it here first. Tiamat now viable in all Abrams. Boy <laughs> build. It must be viable, right? Yep, that's, that's good enough insurance for me. A lot of damage going down by this tower. We do have Syndra throwing down a little bit of spam as well as everyone else. Double lift. Now, he's tanked up fairly nicely. He does have those Merc Treads as well as the Frozen Armor, so you can see that he really would like to continue living through these team fights. Just getting him so low is such a temptation for TD, but they still hold the kill lead at this point. 16 to 9, about 3,000 gold difference, and, you know, I'm looking at creeps, and... 39 on top of Paradoxical. I mean, we're not a Reginald level by any means, but he's leading that with those buckshots. <laughs> wow, Boy Boy gets absolutely destroyed. Chouster does escape, but uh, that will be one dead Ezreal. I'm surprised Chouster got out of there alive. Double lift gonna hit by a spear, pops the barrier as well. He's still gonna make it out alive. Wow, the clutch barrier coming up there, saving his life. There's the Graves all combined with the Heimerdinger burst. Is it gonna be enough? Warwick will fall, and so will Sindra. Hot shot. Uh, think for a moment there. Last member left alive on his team, but uh, oh, there's more Nidalee spear after Nidalee spear. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier on. Nidalee just super huge, and uh, whether or not it's uh, like that very first interview with Hot Shot uh, about Hot Shot Nidalee oh. GG, this is Nintendo coming that out would've... super huge. So would have been a kill on top of Paradox. So mash me, however, going man mode, taking it out. <laughs> <laughs> and now the spam wow, comes down yet again. That's that yellow dinger, man. He just stood there. He's like, you know what? I'm going to die if I run, so might as well just stand here. And uh, you only stand there and defend your turns once or possibly. Possibly twice, as it uh, looks like he could go in there for round two. Double lift taking a lot of pain, but he's so tanky right now with Frozen Heart and all of his lifesteal, plus those Mercury Treads. He's not going anywhere. He's going to ult in there on a Paradoxical, taking a lot of damage. Chaucer will pick up the goal with another Nidalee Spear. Oh my goodness. They just do not stop. Non-stop action. Double lift going a little bit too deep, but Nintendo X there to shut him down yet again. Eight and four on that Lee Sin. Three creeps, but who needs creeps? in an A round, that's exactly right. Boy Boy trying to put out a little bit, but Mash me able to connect with Cinder <laughs> just as Hotshot able to return the favor on top of Nidalee, but we got the flash coming out from Nintendo as well as the body block, or the body shot 
from Hotshot just to get out of that. And now Boy Boy, you know, he's he's looking okay, but at the same time, you know, that Tiamat, he has that Brutalizer, has a pickaxe. I think he's going for a second. Uh, you know what? I would definitely see that in his future. He's not going for the standard build by any means. Hotshot actually jumping in there. There is the ult coming out for Boy Boy, but it's not going to be enough. Pixel in the middle of the danger zone. He's flashing away. He's going to try to stay alive for as long as possible, but uh, wow, actually making it out of there. Double lift. Uh, was he ghosted? I guess he actually, yeah, did, but, uh, or no, he just had flash up, but uh, that is, uh, you know, the ability to, from Blood Sense to see everybody shut down. There is, uh, well, I guess you live a few more than times than once, but don't mash me going down there. A lot of damage, but once again, Boy Boy getting assassinated by Nintendo next. He's just camping his lane as much as in solo queue, but uh, this is definitely a lot of damage. You know, Zion Spartan throwing out the spear, hits Hotshot, takes him down to just about 300 HP, but there's one more kill. Nintendo just absolutely huge. Yep. As I said, Ping Pong Master himself, he is able to close a lot of distance, a lot of team saving abilities. Double coming out here for CLG, and now Double Lift should be able to just grab this kill on top of Spartan. But no, it's going to be Nintendo Dex sacrificing himself for the team as Double Lift yet again getting out of there by the skin of his teeth. He is now stacking a little bit of AP, if you notice. Wow, yeah, um, but yeah, you definitely called it, Sean, earlier on, that, uh, Ping Pong Master G coming up so huge, don't mash me once again, just sitting in that bush, drops the Heimer to get a burst combo, and, uh, you know, you said earlier on it's either gonna be a real terror or just completely useless, and, uh, don't mash me, not completely useless by any means, Death Cap completed on Nidalee, that is absolutely gonna be ridiculous, look at these spears just continuing and, uh, to come out one right after another, you see one line up there, will it actually hit Boy Boy, where is the spear? Zion Spartan saving it for a special occasion, and a special occasion is going to be used to check the bush. Would have killed off double if possibly. It actually uh, got a little bit of uh, magic resist there, but like you mentioned, the AP, that Hungry Strike is going to heal him up for a lot of health. Yeah, that's exactly why you go a little bit of AP on Warwick, because those ratios just work out so very well. It's, again, you can do something like that on Dominion, but, uh, you know, not exactly Dominion, although Arabs were very popular. Wow, Chaucer eating that Nidalee Spear. Good game, well played. He, go he does drop it. Boy Boy, <laughs> with the help of Gragas, able to just instigate double lift going in on top of Pixel. Pixel taking a lot of damage to the, his face, but uh, he will be dropping. Did Nasus even get to use his ultimate? Nope, it was on cooldown. Now it's up. Nintendo slowed down a little bit, but that's all right. Again, has a lot of distance displacers, a lot of distance movement that is afforded to him. Spartan getting ready for a spear. Lands it right in top of Big Fat LP. Big Fat LP. I don't know, man. 98 in ability power. Not looking the hottest, but at the same time, him and Cassidy have uh, pretty much the exact same build. You know, I think he's actually got the second best record on CLG right now. It's 4, 6, and 8 versus 4, 6, and 9 uh, from Warwick. So it's not doing horribly by any means. And you could see Unending Power actually able to pick up a kill there earlier. But the Zazbar narrowly surviving that uh, one Ezreal. He's just uh, waiting for that uh, cooldown from all the barriers and whatnot up on Zion's part. Don't match me taking a lot of damage. There's the Ezreal, chunks that paradoxical and 10, 10 dude, but unable to pick up a kill. And uh, really just so much sustain coming out from TD. They're just like, they just don't die. They're not giving up. They're not surrendering by any means. And another spear hits Boy Boy. Uh, Boy Boy doesn't leave a corpse, so I can't zoom in on that, but here we go, a little bit of a revenge, Syndra able to take down Pixel yet again, seems to be the team pinata at this point, five deaths to his name, actually tied with uh, Nintendo, so it's not terrible, but Paradoxical almost able to get out that kill on top of a double lift, but the quick shot so close, 52 hit points and Chaucer puts him in his place. Wow, that kick, the dragon kick coming out from Nintendo. He just kind of hangs out there underneath the turret. He's like, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to go in there, pick up a kill, go back to base, pick up some items, and there is another <laughs> barrel cut off from <laughs> Oh, I am sorry, but Syndra picked up the Heimerdinger turret and threw it at her teammate. Got him, a, got mashed me a double kill out of it. I, I don't even know what I'm watching right there. That was absolutely ridiculous. But Hotshot GG coming in there for the Wombo combo on Don't Match Me. So that is one dead snowboard digger right there. But yeah, I, I don't even know what, what to say about that. Like, that, that Syndra throw. Wow.
Oh, Pixel going for the kill on top of Hotshot. Gets off the wither, but does not seem to actually land that Q. Body, the, the body shot, just too much to deal with. And now Voivoy able to just chunk him down under half. I mean, Nasus has a lot of that life steal. It's just not working. And Voivoy instant given Paradoxical. Does not look like he's interested in that second Tiamat. Does have that BF source. Going for the Infinity Edge. Not exactly the full troll build I uh, might have been expecting. But Voivoy now picking it up at 4-8. Uh, not exactly a winning score. You know, not exactly is uh, probably a fairly accurate... Uh, oh, look at Big Fat LP! You can see he grabbed the cannon minion and tried to hold it in front of himself. There's the Ezreal ult. That is going to be one dead Zion Spartan. There's the unending power. Going to be picking up Nintendo X as well. Paradoxical just now respawning, coming back into lane. But Pixel narrowly surviving with that ultimate. Oh my goodness. Period of the stands keeping him alive for just a few <laughs> seconds longer. <laughs> oh my goodness! Stun under turret. Don't match be coming up huge once again. Yep, mash me star player aside from that Nintendo dude. going for the second kill on top of double lift here Pixel is still alive, and I thought he did some great support keeping pixel up But there goes that AP double lift uh, landing a little bit of extra damage on top of pixel one shots him at the end there But oh Greg is gonna be dropping to the collateral damage gets off the ace just before Chaucer comes back on up Don't mash me playing real terror with that hybrid ending. He must have been watching those Dan didn't you know, uh, yeah, really great uh, guide produced there by the man Din, but uh, it's coming out uh, really big. Don't match me, regardless of whether it's because of a guide or because he's just absolutely ridiculously good at the game. He's going to stay alive, but Graves, not so fortunate. Oh, boy, boy, running for his life, but at the same time, they were able to take down Kassin, and Big Fat LP could have been in a little bit of trouble, but TD did have to back off. We have now successfully cleared the turrets, and they're still sitting about 4,000 gold ahead. You know, 4,000 gold, 12 kills, 4,000 gold. I really kind of expected more. Uh, you know what? I definitely uh, would agree with you at uh, that, uh, but uh, even still, you can see CLG is... Uh, Starting to feel the pain a little bit uh, of all of that early game poke. Now, sure, they're going to have Boy Boy, but without things like, oh, say, an Infinity Edge or uh, Attack Speed Boots, he's definitely going for more of a poke build. There is the suppression on it. Don't match me. Wow, an ending power just narrowly not able to pick up the kill. There is the Ezreal. Is it going to hit? Don't match me. Narrowly jukes out of the way. Ah, uh, no, he finally does drop to the Syndra, but Spartan <laughs> able to reclaim a little bit in terms of revenge. Now we do got CLG a bit more on the defensive, but able to really burst down Paradoxico. The Gragas long-range cannonball ultimate able to grab that and now kills, kills, kills. Double lift, still tanking fairly well, <laughs> one versus two, but that was a spear to the back of Cassidy dead. And now double lift could be in a little bit of trouble. Does duke out that spear and he will be dropping to the design. So some really excellent plays coming up from TD. Can we get the spear? Hot shot with the clutch heal. Will keep him alive at least temporarily. 187 hit points though. And he's gonna try regening his best, but you can't kill a hot shot, Nidalee GG. He made that champion. Didn't you know that? I, I mean, it's pretty true, not gonna lie. You look at these scores, and it's 12 to 4. Least deaths in the game tied with Hotshot GG himself. So uh, apparently both, uh, yeah, that's AP Nidalee and also Hotshot's Gragas uh, at uh, the least kills, or the least uh, deaths, rather. So uh, nobody's gonna blame them for feeding afterwards, that's for sure. Yeah, we're looking at Boy Boy. 10 deaths, Cassidy now sitting at 12. That Chaucer, man. Lots and lots of deaths, but 44-31, again about 4,000 gold difference, and you know, big items coming out, everyone's really kind of getting more into their end game. Of course, the DSM game was over by now, so not really too sure how to call a late game ARAM, but we don't have a single tower standing for CLG, they're definitely on the back foot. Caught me in the middle of a yawn, but uh, that is not an indication of how boring this game is. This game is actually really ridiculous and exciting. Graves getting absolutely into Jibs, an excellent ult coming out from Hotshot GG. And uh, you mentioned late game ARAMs, and really this is where the rubber band effect starts to hit. Either, you know, you run out of your base, you get a turret, and then you just, you all die, and the other team gets a turn to push back into your base. And it's all who can hurt the other team more <laughs> in their chance. How? And how? that was like a lot of pain. How did that even hit? <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's like if your grandmother moved to another country, 
And you're like, oh, well, where do you live? And she tells you this, like, random foreign state name. You're like, I don't know where that is. How does that even work? It's just not wow. possible to find out. But somehow it just is. And Zion's part actually going to get Warwick Alton. There's the easy peasy lemon squeeze Japanese in the breezy extra greasy barrel coming out from Hotshot. Able to pick up the kill. But uh, that's two down for uh, TD. Three down right now. <laughs> well, basically four. I, okay. Well, no more don't mash me. He really wanted that kill on top of Chaucer, but High Shot saying, nope, GG, Nintendo X not gonna go anywhere, or is he? Takes down Chaucer with a flick what? of his big toe. That's all he needed, just a big toe to connect, and it just looked like it. Nintendo now sitting 14 and 8, does have that Brutalizer still with the Bilgewater, but now a Sanguine, so not a tanky Nintendo X, but definitely more of a DBS Nintendo X. Having a little bit of trouble against Big Fat, <laughs> kind of caught out without any cooldowns, and CLG will defend for now. For now. You know what, it's... For now is a really good way to put this, but uh, I mean, CLG is the North American team of CLG EU. Sometimes that's the way it seems, even though it's the other way around. And uh, you got to know these guys have come back in their blood after seeing like a 23 and 5 come back at uh, uh, Season 2 Championships. It's looking like this could also be a possibility here. Dodging Spears is something that they have apparently learned how to do through playing this game. So, you know, good practice for the finals, even still. A lot of uh, micro intensive action coming out. But now with Super Minions pushing, into their base, it's really going to be about uh, can you actually uh, defend against both super minions and against the enemy team. Don't mash me. Wow, he will go down. This is starting to look extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, double lift tank and spears like a boss. He's actually really, really tanky. He has almost 200 armor and magic resist. Uh, so, I don't know, man. He's starting to get to that unkillable. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Boy Boy just dropped into that spear. It was too funny for me. Big Fat not looking so good. Is going to get hit by that the pixel as well as the rest of the team. Chaucer now going in, deciding that the living isn't worth it. Yeah, he just dropped. Nintendo able to take home that kill. Double lift, as he said, you know, he's looking very tanky. 193, 170. Uh, you know, definitely tanked up a lot, but. Not too sure it's going to be enough to hold this off. We do got Hotshot in the back. He's able to throw out a lot of those Christmas presents. And Zion Spartan, a welcome recipient to that, throws out that spear in return. We are going to be trying to clear out some of these creeps. But Paradoxical is just chasing him back to his fountain. And there's no healing for you there, Hotshot. I'm sorry. Pops that heal. Boy, boy, looking not so good. But the Nexus now also... <laughs> wow. Nexus also ready to go. But Paradoxical does drop. Spartan about to drop as well. I don't know if you remember the uh, third place match from uh, the Season 2 Championships with CLG versus Dignitas in the same exact situation. There were a few more lanes on the map, but uh, still left to defend their base against Super Minions with no Nexus turrets left alive. And you gotta know that, uh, ooh, actually a really good job by Hotshot uh, leaving that minion there to sort of start the uh, minion wave snowballing just a little bit. Uh, there is, once again, double lift just ulting don't mash me, just non-stop. That is a super low cooldown. Unstoppable force, or not unstoppable force, unending power uh, coming out from Syndra. Unable to quite take down mash me he's gonna start to heal back up but double lift just does not stop this guy is really really tanky yeah double lift really hard to take him down but nintendo deck's gonna make his best shot unfortunately his best not good enough in this turn but 52 41 still holding about a 4,000 gold lead over top of clg clg is gonna make their advances but no do not facebook or <laughs> don't do that either but don't face check like a double lift and unfortunately it wasn't even double lift this time so the joke doesn't work. Either way, four of them go down in spectacular fashion. This could be the G's, and G's are being dropped. Uh, yeah, but the uh, inhibitor does respawn, so TD is going to have to... Wow! I was like, okay, well, he's got a lot of magic resist. He, he's pretty... T and then he just dies instantly. You look at all that magic penetration coming out from uh, Heimerdinger. He has a Void Staff on top of uh, no boots. No, he does have uh, Source Shoes as well. Uh, don't mash me in science part. Just kind of kind of chilling out. TSM starts... Uh, oh, there's the sucks. Ooh. But it does look like uh, <laughs> it's very likely that we will see a TSM versus T the grand finals here. Not sure exactly what I'm looking at, but wow, big fat LP with the burst killing off of Heimerdinger, and uh, not sure Don't Match Me is quite ready for that. <laughs> Throw the game! Throw the game! Riot's gonna DQ you. Um, that de they definitely did not have any interest in taking out that Nexus right there. Instead, CLG gonna be chasing him all the way back. Pixel getting get hit by that 
Regus ultimate, the big barrel of love that Santa Claus likes to bring around. But TD Pixel able to just really chunk down Sinja. That's all right. He does drop to Boy Boy. Now Spartan and Paradox go on the defense. I don't think TD is interested in ending the game anytime soon. You know what, they're just kind of chilling out, kind of having some fun, and I really don't blame them, but it's a double lift actually picking off Graves once again. I don't know, Paradoxical <laughs> keeps dying, but speaking of dying, that Gragas. He's trying. Oh, he's trying. So fat. So, so fat. fat. He actually burned the flash to kill that Graves, so he actually had nothing in terms of getting out of there. So, you know, might as well commit Spartan gonna have none of that and don't mash me picks up that ace mash me now sitting at fifth sorry 16 and 8 whereas uh, we actually have now surpassed the kills of Nintendo dude x on the top of zion spartan yeah i mean you gotta look at the scores and 12 and 6 hotshot he knows what he's doing but wow a cinderburst actually fairly scary mm -hmm. definitely deleted Nintendo dude x able to take down the big fat but there goes the nexus gg Probably coming out at uh, 1G at a time. I still have no idea what Nintendo X is trying to spam, but um, yeah, congratulations TD. They are going on to the finals, and I don't know, Team TD versus TSM seems like a lot of spam to me.